Hey everyone, Gerlock is dancing around, enjoying himself, uh, playing sound, sound garden. but I have a few words, and it's in regards to Team Evil, Sherlock. yet again, Sherlock. we're winning, they're losing, I want to make that clear, we're winning, and they're losing, and the channels that I have tagged in videos in the past month, the ones that I have exposed or tagged or made parodies of or whatever the case may be, whether it's movies Maddie from Quantum of Con Men or, quote, Marky from Forever Con Men or Dan from Overwatch or John Levi. Now, I don't know, other than the shows that I've seen, we all watch kind of the same shows you know, the sort of truther shows looking at certain things. And I agree with part of what he's saying that they're just caught in a loop. They're not really looking at major things a lot of times. Like Matt should be looking at the pedo thing. And not suck in Hollywood's dick so much. Because it's kind of what he does. And that there's a lot of people that are... They're not open about something. About their self. And a lot of times that can indicate there's some sort of... Uh, there's an angle that they've got going on. That we don't know what it is, and that to be fed disinformation or whatever the fuck these other people are doing isn't isn't legit, and it's a bad idea. And I appreciate the sharpness that is done there, but I'm not sure about all of it. I don't. I can't say I know who's the fucks the evil channels or not, or Christopher Sedaris, or. Uh... Jason, my books, my books, and my cakes, or J Creamers, or whoever. I mean, it doesn't seem to matter. Good job, not with our eggs. Uh, podcast. What are you going to do with it? It doesn't seem to matter who I tag. I when I make a video about them, or when I tag them in a video, or whatever, whatever the case may be, they don't seem to show up on my channel to say anything to defend themselves, if you see what I'm saying. They just stay, stay silent, and they. Some of them made videos about me on their channel, though. You got her off of it. Art. Yeah, we have a chicken that's got kind of been on an egg since November. And she never hatched it. Eggs are supposed to hatch in 28 days. When I call Christopher Sedaris a felon, it's right on video. He's admitting to being a felon. And he even says that murder is not immoral and stuff like that. Like, I mean, I have your words, dude. It's right on video. And when it comes to other people like Movies Matt, he just, I could tag him every week. He's not going to show up and say anything. He's not going to debate anyone. When he tells you that he could take a podium and debate people for hours with a Texas catheter and all his bullshit to try to tell you stories. <laughs> the Texas Shrug. The Texas Shrug channel. Which I never saw. I never saw. I know the reference, though. Do we, need, do we always need to debate one another? I go onto this guy's channel and comment because I watch his stuff and I, I like it. I like it. I think it's good. Um, I don't 100% agree with everything. Only because for myself, I'm trying not to be as hateful and sharp to people. Although I do know there's some of them that do deserve it. For myself, I'm trying not to be that person completely. Because it has a bad effect on me. If I'm just an asshole and I fight with people and I get off into that mentality of some shit like that, it doesn't do me good at all. But do I think it is necessary? Fuck yeah, I do think it's necessary. 
I think it's necessary to always challenge these motherfuckers that are, you know, bringing up some bullshit. And maybe they need to see something that they're just missing because they're off into their own shit. Sometimes I need that. Sometimes I need that for myself because I don't need that. I don't need to entertain any fucking of the alien shit. You know, with the only exception of who I like listening to, I like listening to Megan Rose. Even though she says Valnick is communicating to her through some fucking um, earpiece. Could that be an intelligence operation? It could be. It could be. You know, and I think maybe likely it is. But when I when I listen to her talk, I listen to her talk about shit that's been interesting to me and valid and appropriate to those areas of what I've listened to. So I guess nobody gets a free pass the whole time, you know. And if there are people that are actually evil, and I do think that there is a team evil, I'm just not sure that it's not the spiritual evil that puppets over um, peoples in general, you know. I don't know what to think, but I can still engage with other people and talk with them and look at the world and have a difference of ideas without having to uh, hate them or put them in a box that, you know, I think there is a team evil, but I don't know to say that I, I'm qualified to put anybody on that team evil. Matt, there's something odd about Matt, and I don't know if it is because he's connected like this guy says, you know, but there's something weird going on with him, and I don't, I don't, I perceive it because he says too much weird shit that's going on in my environment. At the moment, I, I listen to it. You know, that's a strange phenomenon that I kind of look for that, but definitely not in his fucking farm. He's not going to debate anyone because they would dismantle him. They would ask him questions about Lloyds of London in the city of London, the city state that's in within the city of London. You get what I'm saying? Sort of like the Vatican in Washington, D.C. It's a city state. It's a, it's a state within a city, basically. Independent. So yeah, Matt's not going to tell you, hey, I worked for Lloyds of London selling hostage and, and kidnapping ransom insurance. He's not going to tell you that. Who buys that? The average <laughs> Joe? The average mechanic? Or, you no. know, the average uh, no, they don't. gas station worker or Walmart worker or no. Target worker or supermarket worker somewhere or, you know, or the average uh, bookkeeper or accountant or whatever. No, it's, it's elite people. It's quote elite people, rich, rich and famous by that. Matt has connections. So he can't do a debate, you know, and some people on my channel still don't get that either. You'd love to see me debate him. Well, I'd love to see it too, but is it is it ever is that ever going to happen? I'm not even someone that is well suited for debating. There's people that are much better at debating than I am. I would say that right off the bat. That's not my personality style. I, I'm, I'm not someone that takes a lot of notes and prepares and does all this stuff. And does everything that goes into, into debating. I'm not either. You get what I mean? I'm an artist. Okay. I visualize things. I'm visual. I like, um, and I also write poetry, but poetry is far from different from standing at a podium and debating with someone. Could I do it though? Could I defeat Matt? I would bet money on myself for sure that I would win the debate. And if it were judged by people that were actually, if you could actually find some objective beings in this realm, then sure, I would bet money for sure on myself because I know that there's no he would stand no chance with the things of his past that he has kept quiet on for a decade of having a YouTube channel. So maybe that's on my side, if you see what I'm saying. And his lies by omission. I told you guys I sold insurance. I told you guys I worked in insurance. I'm a child of the Matrix. As though that excuses everything. Just saying, hey, I was a child of the Matrix. Well, can Jason of Archaics do that with his, his crime that he served almost 30 years in, in prison for? It's just a child of the matrix, right? Who gives a damn who you hurt? Who gives a damn who you harmed in your life? You could just say, oh, I was a child of the matrix. That really covers it. You know, it's like a child putting a blanket over their head and running around the house and telling all the 
you should be able to be freed from past shit that you do if you if you make some sort of I mean because this is not a perfect world everybody doesn't have to be perfect people but if they're honest about it you know Jason from Archaic seemed to be honest about it and I'm new to his channel watching his stuff and it's interesting I haven't heard anything like it it's interesting but I'm not I'm not a big cult follower I'm not a big cult follower of anybody and I'm kind of like an artist too I like to I like to uh, find new ways to come up with presentations. I like to make videos. It wasn't something I wanted to do, and somebody got me into doing it, and I began to like it. I began to like it so much so that if I can't do it, I'm very dis I'm very displeased. But I have to flow and morph and find a way to make it work for me and to be doing something that I believe in, which mostly is trying to snap people out of that fucking mindset if they're in it and they're young. There's a lot of a lot of them in, but a lot of you are the same way. There's only a very small few that are always looking for all your videos, like Mr. Mission Control. He wants to look at your videos and then send them out there. You know, I guess it's like this guy, if, if he tagged them in it. You know, is that maybe that's what what's his name is doing to me, trying to make me look like a fool? But it's just being an asshole. Some of these people that are doing stuff like this guy right here are just these fucking gang stalkers, and they're trying to break down what anybody's trying to do. But I don't entirely feel that about this guy. I think he's got a genuine passion that people are not fucking seeing certain shit, and a genuine can, uh, care that you know. It's, it's up to us to try to, it does feel like a part of life, like part of being here is not being just selfish and waking yourself up, but trying to get other people to see certain things that if they have, you know, if they're doing right, you know, go along to get along, if they're like that, they wouldn't notice those things, you know, that's what I think. Please like, share, or subscribe. Check out a sanity machine.